Hello. <laughs> Today, you guys are probably going to think I am crazy <laughs> because I love everything organization. Um, I don't or I've never been, I guess, diagnosed with OCD or um, anything like that, but I definitely need things organized and organized that makes sense to me. Uh, so this was something I had kind of been wanting to do for a while. And it started out with, um, I'm going to see if I can post the little video up here, but an app called Get Wardrobe Outfit Planner. Um, I have an Android. This one, it's for an Android. I know there's a lot of closet ones out there. And I even um, looked up you know, what's the best one to organize your closet. Uh, so the get a wardrobe, I, I like, um, what I'm not going to do is pay for an app for something I probably won't use every day. I will probably only put together outfits for like trips or special occasions, which doesn't happen all the time. So uh, this was a free version and then there's a, another version that I think is like five bucks a month. No, I'm not doing that. Um, so the free version, it still gives you a lot of options, but it does limit you on the amount of items. Basically you can store a hundred things period. So this includes all of your items and then any outfits that you put together. So if you, um, you know, have 50 outfits or not 50 outfits, but if you have 50 items that leaves you with, uh, 50 outfits that you can put together. Uh, and then I didn't even use anything that was in like the trip. Um, like if you were actually to plan things. So I don't know if that takes up any of the space as well. Uh, but you were able to pick a color, uh, like a main color. So if you wanted to search by color, you can organize by season. Um, it was, it was pretty good and it was pretty detailed. Um, there was an in-app uh, option for removing the background, but I found that it wasn't as sensitive as like the one in Canva. Um, so you're going to see me use Canva and mainly Canva, my phone, and I personally used Publisher at the very end, but if you wanted to keep everything in Canva, um, then you, you can do whatever you want. The option in Canva for the background remover, I do believe is in the pro version, uh, but I think Canva is like $15 a month and I use Canva for a lot, like a lot, like even for fun. <laughs> I'll just put the shit together. Uh, yeah, the app I liked, but I was like, geez, I, I don't know if I can do that monthly to, sorry, I'm kind of looking at the, um, the photos on here. So uh, so yeah, I took a picture of all of my clothes. Um, so it will be time consuming in the beginning, but then once you get your wardrobe, then you just have to take a picture, um, whenever you get one new item and then, you know, delete whatever you get rid of over time. You'll see me remove the background in Canva and then I'll go through all of that. So again, I'm not crazy. I just, I, I can envision things in my mind, but I also like to see it in, you know, laid out. That's kind of the right and left brain in me. I, I, they're both very even. So, uh, I'm planning on using this for trips, like making like a packing list. <laughs> um, if you saw my pack with me for Arizona, um, I could even, you know, compile one outfit in a cube or a couple outfits. And then I can put the, uh, picture of the outfit on that cube. So I know exactly what's in there. I 
just really like being organized. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy watching the process on how I kind of put all of this together and I will see you guys later in the video. All right, so here I am in my Canva app um, and I just opened up, uh, I think this is just a, uh, like the size is a logo. Um, I just randomly kind of chose a size um, and then I just kind of started all of these um, I'm just going to make this all kind of in one file. That way I can kind of keep track of what clothing I have already done. And I know when I download it, it will do as individual photos. Um, and there are a lot of different options on, on the, the desktop uh, like website rather than the the app on your phone. So let's go ahead and I'm going to bring in one of the photos of my clothing. I, I'm going to make it bigger, whatever, it doesn't, doesn't matter at this point. Um, what I want to do, and this is an option that is only available in the Pro Canva. I'm going to go ahead and edit that image and I'm going to use the background remover. Um, this is a little time consuming, not that this whole <laughs> process isn't, um, but it takes about a minute or so to remove that background and you'll see that once it does, it, it includes the hanger and the hooks as a part of like not the background, like as the actual image. Uh, so this is another option that is just available on the desktop version. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over here and hit erase. And that is going to allow me to take this brush and remove any of the image that I don't want in the photo. So this one actually removed that side hook. A lot of the times I have been finding that it doesn't. Um, we can also restore the image if anything on here um, was taken away that we didn't want. We could hit restore, same thing. It's got the little um, pen there that we can then restore. I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And there is our image. And then I've just been kind of making them as large as I can here and centering even though you definitely don't need to. Um, so I'm going to keep going. Let's do one more. Let's do this jacket. Okay, edit image, remove background. Holy crap! Thank you! Okay. <laughs> Good lord. I'm going to then continue on with this, but as you can see, I have a little collection of my clothing. I'll show you how I'm planning on downloading these and saving these. It's an option that I haven't tried before, um, but I think it's going to be the best option. Um, I can download them and they basically have like a, the white background, but there is an option when you're on your desktop to, um, let me see if I can actually do it, download. You can download with a transparent background and this is showing you that it is a pro feature. I do have the pro, um, so that's what I'm going to do because then I think these images will then, if I want to layer on top of each other, it will have the transparent background and um, I can then create outfits and layer that way. Cool, that's how I am using the Canva portion. Um, or the Canva app slash website to create this portion of my closet project. 
I had already gone in and saved those clothing files with the backgrounds removed to my desktop and I categorized everything so there's a folder for accessories and for dresses and really you can do it however you want. I had made these and I made these in Publisher. I was going to do a couple in Canva too um, just so you can see that you don't need any additional software or apps or programs. Uh, I am pretty proficient in Publisher so this just felt comfortable, more comfortable to me than Canva and uh, it seemed like I just had better access to the files that were saved on my desktop. But here are just a couple like real quick examples of outfits that I put together. Um, and then let's have some fun on my desktop and it's under closet. Um, so here are all of my um, files. So let's do another one for, um, for going to the pool. And here I can select multiple, which is great. And then I gotta upload on here. So this is why I chose Publisher, because they were already on my computer here. Okay. Oh, okay. Just did all that, whatever. Those bottoms, those bottoms. Okay, and then for this, I'm just using a uh, thumbnail temp, uh, like a logo. I'm sorry, a logo. Make it pretty, pretty, pretty. Here you can add text and poolside. Have from a logo, you can take um, color samples, but then it also from my photos will take the colors available. From these, I can do effects on this as well. I can curve it out. I can adjust that curve. I can rotate that curve. Pool sad. Um, so now I'm going to go and Let's do some accessories. So I even have belts in here just for fun. Let's do a hat. Ooh, she big. Nope, not what I wanted. Oh, hey. Nope, don't, don't fill. I, I don't want you to fill the background. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's a little finicky, but that's all right. That's all right. Let's see if we can do the same thing. Nope. Oh, they're just uh, evil, huh? Okay. Will you be nice now? Yes. It'll be nice now. Okay. So, yeah, you kind of get it. You can make this as simple or as complex as you want. If you want to animate, um, you can go to the elements. Your goal. You can. So now if you uploaded that as like an Instagram post, then you have the little live action. Um, I'm kind of mainly going to probably use this for packing planning uh, and maybe even have like a little printout. Um, <laughs> so when I take with me, like this is pool, poolside, but if I had something like for these, like this could be dinner for night number two and you know I can label it make it fancy you can kind of get the idea it would be more time consuming and I didn't even think about this until later but if you wanted to theoretically you could put on the clothing and take a picture of yourself um, like wearing it and then have a picture of you that you could do like paper doll style that would be kind of fun. It just seems like a lot of work and this is maybe a little bit cleaner but uh, I can definitely see where in some of these 
having it on a body would be better because you can kind of see how it's going to lay um, together as well. So certain fabrics, um, like, is, would this be too flowy over top of this? You know, you can kind of see what that would kind of look like together. So, okay. If you don't think that's cool and exciting, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> because this, I'm, I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I now have it stored in my Canva and on my computer so I can play with it however I want. So even if I'm, I mean, I, I don't know why I would ever do this, but even if I'm out and about, I can put, you know, put together something or if, here's a good point, and I'm at a store, I can see what I currently have and if, I have something similar already, you know, that might like, like, oh, well, I don't need this. Or, um, oh gee, I really would like this shirt and it would go with these outfits. So even if, uh, even if I'm looking online, I can basically remove the background on that image too. And I can build an outfit with that piece of or that article of clothing and I can see how it works with my current wardrobe as well. So I think it's very beneficial. <laughs> Again, in the beginning, a little time consuming, but I am very happy with this, how this turned out. Let me know if you would do anything differently. Let me know if you have something like this. Um, and you know, if you like it, hit that like button and hit that little subscribe button too. And I will see you guys next time next, next, next time. <laughs> Bye.